Hello everyone, this is Calvin Russell, CEO and founder of 850 Club Credit Consultation. Hope everyone's doing well today. Today we're going to talk about the common mistakes most people make when they're reading their credit report. All right, let's go straight into it. So number one, the number one mistake that people make is really not understanding how closed accounts show up or affect your credit score in general. Okay, let's go straight into it. So as we know, there are different types of closed accounts. Um, of course, you have a closed account with um, um, a balance okay and that could be in good standing okay like for example if you have let's say um, I don't know if you guys remember uh, the one of the largest retailers at the time was a company called Carson's it's a big deal in the Midwest and um, either way a lot of people had a Carson's card and of course once the company shut down people still had balances with them um, so the card itself was closed which means you cannot use it anymore um, however it still has a balance but they're still making monthly payments so it's in good standing so you got to expect to see this on your credit report because you still owe them money you still have an obligation to pay them and they still have an obligation to report that obviously to collect it from you but also to report that to the credit bureaus okay so as long as you're making those payments on time you'll be just fine but it's also going to be on your credit report until uh, the account until it's paid off in full then seven years after that um, of course it will uh, be removed from your credit report okay so that's closed with a balance. Then you also have charged off uh, with a balance. Though charged off with a balance is still closed uh, with a balance. Um, however, this one is where you have a balance and you say, listen, I ain't paying them nothing, okay? Um, you may not have said that, but that's what it looks like on your credit report. There's a balance that's due. You have no intention on paying it. That Listen, I'm not here to tell you whether you should pay it or not. That's up to you. That's your prerogative. Um, but do understand that as long as that's sitting there on your credit report, it is affecting you negatively okay because it is a charged off with um, an open balance okay then of course you have closed accounts in general where um, you know you paid it you know uh, there's no more money to be paid into it and it's just closed some people think that when they when an account looks like this it's supposed to be immediately removed but again it doesn't work like that it's gonna stay on there for seven years now the next thing is going to be uh, having the right expectations, uh, you know, for new accounts. Okay, uh, so when you're looking at a new account, number one, the number one expectation uh, that people seem to miss, or I will say, a mistake that people have with this in particular, is knowing when it's going to show up on your credit report. Okay, you may get a new car loan, a new credit card, um, you know, a mortgage loan, something like that. Um, typically, it works like this. Credit cards are usually going to show a little bit quicker just because credit cards, you know, companies have you no know, millions of clients and they're used to just, you know, going ahead and, you know, getting some certain things done. Most things are automated. OK, and that's whether you have a balance or not with credit cards. So it's going to usually show up usually within 30, 30 to 45 days or less. OK. When you have a loan, on the other hand, some most loans go through an underwriting process. So sometimes things are just waiting on humans, uh, you know, to press that button. Not so much with personal loans, but more so with auto loans. For example, they may be still in the process of paying off your old car. That may be a discrepancy from when the dealership actually lets you drive off with the car versus when they actually finally got your loan funded. Yeah, there's some people out there driving, and technically they haven't, uh, you know, they technically don't have a loan yet. That's a whole other video. Uh, but of course, sometimes, like I mentioned, they may not have paid off your car yet. They maybe change your interest rate, a lot of different things. But usually in the mortgage industry, um, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, they are selling that loan as soon as they closed it. So sometimes there's a delay with that. Um, usually with mortgages, again, there's a lot more humans involved. So you may not see that posted uh, with mortgages or most loans, usually uh, sometimes within 60 days. OK, sometimes I've even seen 90 days to show up on your credit report. So, again, setting the expectation you know on that as well okay and then of course um, not having the right expectation if you are added to some uh, if someone adds you to their credit card also known as an authorized user um, you may know it as having a trade line or piggyback and whatever you want to call it the expectation with this is that um, you know someone adds you on their credit card you expect to be on all three bureaus well um, so by law most cases uh, when you have a credit card they're going to report to all three bureaus if you are the primary card holder however if you're an authorized user um, you know on that card their chances are that you may not be on all three bureaus not every single bank reports to all three credit bureaus I'll do a video on which banks report to all the bureaus and things of that sort 
and which chances are likely and things of that sort. However, most banks will at least report to one bureau. Uh, some only do Experian. Some only do Equifax. Some only do TransUnion. Some do two out of three. Some do all three. Okay. So again, having the right expectation. And if you've got questions on this stuff, you can always call the bank. Um, you being an authorized user is nothing. Is nothing wrong with calling the bank or asking the person who adds you on the account. Say, hey, you know, ask them if you know since I'm an authorized using your credit uh, in your credit card um, you know which bureau should they report to again that's a customer service question there's absolutely nothing wrong with asking that question all right and then last but not least sometimes people forget the seven-year rule okay what's the seven-year rule the seven-year rule as we know when an account closes all right then um, typically it's you know, the account is going to be removed from that credit report the only time something doesn't fall into that seven-year category is when you're looking at a chapter seven bankruptcy but a chapter 13 bankruptcy as well as any and everything else on your credit report is going to stay on there for seven years usually into the last date of what they call activity uh, in most cases it's when the account closes some cases if there's an open balance is when the uh, is when there's some activity and there's no more activity so like for example I've seen some accounts where it's closed but there's an open balance but the person is making payments is in good standing but they're still making those payments Obviously, it may not take seven years to pay something off. I hope not. Uh, but it's more than likely that clock is going to start. Uh, that seven year clock is going to start once you're completely done paying off of the, that account. OK. And then, of course, you have inquiries. That's a slightly different ball game. Uh, they only stay on your credit report for two years. OK. So just having the right expectations um, in general when you're reading your credit report. Sometimes things aren't wrong. You just have the wrong information. OK. Uh, but make sure that you have those right expectations. OK. So you won't make those mistakes again. So if you like this video like it you want to share it share it and as always be sure to subscribe as we have nothing but great content on the way thank you all so much have a great day